The chief secretary now, who, is, who has this turpentine in his behind for, in, for internal self-government and he must get it now, otherwise you can bond down the whole country and you want the two seats and all that. You know, when that consultation was taking place, he went to the consultation representing the PDP. Is there anybody in this room who could tell me what he said there? All of you could tell me. Because I'm sure you all know he said nothing. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley said there is now plenty talk from the Chief Secretary, who was previously silent during the previous consultation works conducted on Tobago's autonomy, out of which came the two Tobago bills, which reached the Joint Select Committee of Parliament. There's nothing on record from the man who is now Chief Secretary who is so motivated about this self-government which we must have now because Robinson that and Davidson that and TNM this, all that is just so much old talk. Because the process started with you here in Tobago, the same Orville London that he's denigrating now, Orville led that unique consultation, brought everybody as far as he was able to in. There are those who jump out when they see like something good going to happen. Because as far as they're concerned, nothing good must ever happen because bad things are good for their politics. The Prime Minister has questions for the UNC. The very people who are their political partners, who they fight against us with here in Tobago, they are the opposition in the parliament. Tonight I want to ask all of Tobago, when you hear Farley talking about this fight over self-government and all these things that we want, what is the UNC position on those matters? What is it? And the reason why you have no answer to that is because the UNC want no part of what he's fighting for in Tobago. What they want in Tobago is to get two seats from Tobago and those two seats will add to whatever they win and they get the government to tip out the country. And I'm asking the UNC from here in Mason Hall in Tobago, will you agree to Tobago getting 8% of the national budget? So the UNC is silent and opposing the 6%. But you believe that they will agree to 8%. Dr. Bali said a letter he received signed by Chief Secretary Farley Augustin and Tobago's former Chief Secretary Hochoy Charles called for additional changes, and this comes after the Tobago bills went to the committee stage. Some of the changes include the 15-member assembly, which has been approved and is the current assembly's composition, control of the public service as a Tobago Service Commission, and 8% of the national budget. You know how they ended the letter? The letter signed by those two gentlemen? They said, accept these demands. These are the, these are the words, eh? Accept these demands vigorously and scrupulously, failing which, reject the two bills. Elizabeth Williams, TV6 News.